Hello everyone, welcome to this video session on fluid mechanics question paper analysis. This question paper analysis is purely based on VTU Belagavi external exam question papers. Totally 14 question papers belongs to 2010, 2015 and 2017 scheme and between the years 2015 to 2019 are analyzed. This question paper analysis made especially for second year students of engineering based on the request to score good marks in fluid mechanics subject as it is one of the core subjects of mechanical engineering. The main difference between 2010, 2015 and 2017 scheme is variation of marks rather than contents. Contents and question paper questions from each topic almost remain same in all three schemes. Most importantly in a fluid mechanics subject, theory questions will be repeated most of the time. The reason is some topics in some modules are too small that there is no chance to get more questions. Starting with module 1 theory questions. Very important and repeatedly asked question in module 1 is definition of properties of liquids. Around 9-10 properties of liquids are there, each definition will be asked for 2 marks. You should define and write the suitable formula along with a simple sketch if possible for getting full marks. In surface tension concept, there are three small derivations on droplet, water jet and soap bubble. Each of these derivations can be asked for two to three marks. Types of fluid, question is asked only once. In this question, one or two fluids shown in the graph would be asked to explain or to compare. It is very simple question to answer. Pascal law statement and its proof is one more important question asked so many times, so cannot be neglected, but it is asked only for 4 marks. Very importantly, theory questions on manometer won't be asked as most of the time problems will be asked on this concept and the problem will be asked for 8 marks, but it is good if you study the theoretical part of manometers. Under problems, in uh, module 1, one sure question we can expect from viscosity concept is either to find out the dynamic viscosity or kinematic viscosity. So you must study all different cases under this concept like flat plate problems, cylinder problems and disc problems. The method of solving all these types remains almost same. At any cost, don't skip this concept or else you will lose marks. Under YouTube manometers, Question will be asked with a diagram or without a diagram. So you should have knowledge to understand the question in order to draw the sketch which decides the remaining part of the calculation. It is compulsory to study all three types of problems under YouTube manometer without skipping anything. Even though these problems look bigger, it is very easy to get the solution with some shortcut methods within a minute once after the diagram is ready. Fluid statics is another part of module 1 which is also easy but don't waste time here in studying this as there is no shuffling of question in module 1. In module 2 we have buoyancy and fluid kinematics topics. Fluid kinematics is lengthy but easy and mostly helpful in gate exams but students prefer to read buoyancy concept for semester exams. In buoyancy concept some definition will be asked. There are two simple derivations of finding matter center experimentally or analytically. Any one derivation will be asked normally. And chances of asking it is very high as concept is very small and there is no other derivation in buoyancy concept. Another important question is stability of either submerged or floating bodies. This concept can be explained on your own with suitable diagrams. Under problems, there are only two types of problems asked in buoyancy concept. One is to find out the metacentric height using the equations derived experimentally or analytically. And another is to find out the density of the body or dimension of the body which need a very simple equation. But here you need to solve more problems as every time you will find different types of questions. In module 3, there are two big concepts, namely fluid dynamics and laminar turbulent flows. Fluid dynamics is comparatively smaller than laminar turbulent topic. In fluid dynamics, two compulsory derivations are there namely Bernoulli's equation and Euler's equation of motion. Any one of these derivations will be asked for 8 to 10 marks surely. 
so don't neglect these two other than these two three more derivations are there namely venturi meter derivation orifice meter derivation and tangular notch derivation as for 6 to 8 marks other than this you may get question to explain working of venturi meter orifice meter pitot tube and notches with diagram and final formula if possible it's for 6 to 8 marks at the max for answering this question you need to study concept clearly under problem section you may find most of the problems asked on bernoulli's to find out discharge in case of horizontal vertical or inclined tubes so practice these problems from old question paper and textbooks also in many question paper we can find questions on venturi meter don't neglect these two concepts or problems at any cost there is less chance of asking problem on pitot tube and notches but cannot be neglected fluid mechanics by rk bansal is best for solving problems module 4 theory questions in this module also two topics are there namely flow over bodies and dimensional analysis dimensional analysis topic help you a lot in projects and analysis of engineering problems in future semesters also this concept continue in third year turbo machine subject in this topic simple questions are there like fundamental quantities dirac quantities dimensional homogeneity which you have studied in puc and also similitude which is also a simple one and repeats every time theory questions will be asked for maximum 8 marks but not has single question for 8 marks under numerical problems problem will be asked mostly from buckingham's pi theorem rather than from a relay method since relay method limitation is it is restricted to only three variables for manual calculation and cannot be asked for more marks with more variables a single problem on buckingham pi theorem will be asked for 10 to 12 marks in many cases refer fluid mechanics by rk bansal or rajput book for practicing these problems module 5 theory questions in this module there are two topics namely computational fluid dynamics or cft from which maximum of 8 marks question will be asked mainly its importance advantages and limitations are asked in one question paper its step by step procedure is also asked don't worry you can write on your own if you know the concept these questions repeat every time and will help you to get 8 marks easily since cfd topic is simple and problems are not there most of the time remaining 12 marks will be covered by question from compressible flows which is another major topic of this module in compressible flows some simple theory question will be asked like definitions and differences for 4 to 6 marks also there are two simple derivations asked few times on stagnation pressure and temperature so practice these two derivations by referring the youtube videos under problem section problems are asked only on mach number like finding the velocity of the object or plane etc you can practice them from the textbooks now after having this analysis with you in your hand you decide which topic you concentrate more and how you prepare for your semester exams if any suggestion is required post comment below in the comment box thank you